You know, a lot of people talk to me all the time, say, hey, Pete, I want to be a champ, I want to be a champ. Everyone has the will to be a champion. Everyone can listen to their favorite song and go, man, I'm going to be a champion, I'm going to be rich, I'm going to be a famous basketball player, I'm going to be in movies. Everyone has the will to do that, but not many people have the will to prepare to be a champion. Steve has that will to prepare. He's willing to give up what other people are not willing to give up. I've done the hard few years of having no money, having to borrow money from my parents and then fighting and then using my fight money to pay everybody back. I've done that over and over. So now I'm at a point in my life that I'm working hard, I'm settled, I'm in the gym, I'm working and training and fighting, that now, now I've found my place. The biggest thing I saw in Steve when I first met him, that he has an unbelievable sense of discipline and that above everything else is what I really feel that is gonna make him a champ. Before he was, uh, when he first moved to Sydney, he couldn't afford, afford to live in Sydney. He was staying two hours away. Not two hours there and back, but two hours away. So he'd come in and take him two hours and he'd go away another two hours. He used to do that every day. Peter Graham, my uh, manager and one of my trainers, has played a huge role in my career in the last couple of years because he has been there and done that. He's a four-time world heavyweight champ and a K1 Oceana champ. And he has been there and done that, seen the, the best of the best, fought the best of the best. He's had his highs and his lows and he's now there to guide me 100% and back me and he knows what it takes to get there. So when it comes to training, we push each other, we spar each other, push each other really hard, and it's the only way you're gonna get better. Having the support from my management and my team and everybody in the gym as a whole is definitely a you know, very, very pleasing and rewarding thing to have because knowing that they can see it in me, now I know that all I have to do is just give my best and I'll hopefully get there. Uh, I can teach anyone how to fight, but Steve has a, he has a desire to be a champion, but he backs it up by turning up to training. I treat every training session like it's a fight. I come in, I get pumped and give it my all. The training is, is number one. The training is the hard part. The growth I've seen with Steve over the last 12 months is unbelievable. It gives me uh, a, a real sense that he is going to go all the way, all the way to K-Max. Uh, it's basically the pinnacle of the sport. So, you know, when I go into something, I want to give it all, you know, give 100%. You can't just go in there, win a fight on points, and the Japanese, they want to see somebody get knocked out. Some of the things that I go through with Steve before uh, a fight backstage is, you know, we go over the fight plan for the specific fighter. Uh, we always work on specific things, always. We'll work on fitness and timing and accuracy, but then we have a separate game plan for every single fighter we have. And basically, I just let him warm up. Steve likes to listen to uh, stuff like Michael Jackson and Prince and stuff that I just don't understand. I've never met another fighter who's uh, listens to that kind of music before a fight, but it relaxes him and, you know, Steve's his own man. <laughs> People who know me before a fight, I'm very relaxed and like to uh, joke around, have a bit of a sing, have a bit of a dance. So I'm always listening to something a bit more upbeat like uh, Michael Jackson or Prince, or Stevie Wonder, a lot of the older stuff, uh, a lot of Aussie country music like Lee Kernigan. And people don't expect that from me, but that's just what I like to listen to. 
before a fight, getting in that right mindset is just definitely, I don't think about losing, I am going to win. I always think about it's gonna, how's it gonna look when I've got that trophy in my hand or I'm coming back through the airport with a big trophy in my hand and people ask about it and I can say I won. The mindset is definitely, it's not a game of tennis. I'm not gonna give him a go, then I have a go, then he has a go. It's gonna be my go the whole time and hopefully get the knockout. And for a long-term goal is definitely a world title, which is hopefully going to be my next short-term goal and getting to the K1 Max within uh, the next couple of years. People would, uh, people would love to be in the position I am because I'm getting paid to stay fit, fight, which is what I love to do, and meet great people along the way. By the end of 2011, Steve Moxon will be a world champion. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever.